Hello, hello. Um, it is me. Um, I have bought a bunch of things lately. I got my own little smudge sage thing, and I got whatever this is. Um, you got it on fire, but I don't know exactly which one it is. I don't know what they called it. Um, I got these things, which I thought were pretty cool. Um, I also got some other ones. Um, which one is it? The, uh snowflake obsidian i don't know that's upstairs i had it on me i put it like in my pocket earlier um but i got a bunch of the little crystal things i have been delving into crystals lately i've been thinking it's been pretty interesting i like them i think it's like okay so this is what happened i have spent hundreds of dollars on tarot decks okay um 200 or more okay I bought these for a dollar at, um, what is it, five and below? And these are my favorite cards. Okay, these are so fucking good. It's ridiculous. And I bought them for a dollar. You know, go figure. But I bought some runes. Like, a, I didn't buy the actual runes, but I bought a rune uh, guidebook, you know, starting off because I'm a, I'm a beginner at runes, you know. But I got cards that represent the runes. So I'm going to draw a card at the end. Of just the rune thing. And I'm going to read it out of the book. Okay. I also got focus on the good. Um, it's positive affirmations. So I'm going to draw one of them as well. If I continue to remember. Because as we both know. Uh, I'm forgetful as fuck. <laughs> I also have my candle lit for protection. As I always do. And I have my incense. Okay. I put it in a wine glass. Do not judge me. Do not judge me. I was told that I had a incense thing a holder for it at home and i thought it was true because i know i used to have one uh but i can't find it okay it's nowhere to be found so as of now i'm using this little wine glass <laughs> because it's metal and uh i figure it works so i'm gonna use it um i'm not very i don't know man i don't plan anything i just do shit um but okay i got these cards and i'm telling you i got them for a dollar and they're the best ones I've gotten. I have been getting so much shit out of these cards. It's ridiculous. I don't know if in a past life I was like connected to crystals and shit. Or like I practice it. But it's really speaking to me. Okay. I've been setting intentions with my stones or whatever. And I've been putting them in my pockets and stuff. You know. And I mean it has been. It's been good. I've liked it. Honestly I really have. Um, A funny story. I was thinking about this the other day. I wanted to tell a story. Um. When I was little, as soon as I came out of the womb, okay, I was screaming. I was screaming, crying. I was bald. I was ugly. <laughs> okay, everyone called me the ugly duckling because I was a, I was not a pretty child at home, to behold. Um, but I grew into the beauty that you now see today. So, um, so I don't care to speak about this. But when I was little, I cried so much that uh, my mother said that she was in a Kroger or something. And um, someone came up and prayed for me in front of, like, everyone in Walmart because, or Kroger or wherever it was. Because um, I wouldn't shut up. I was being way too loud. And um, I remember when I was little, I went to this woman. And I, like, laid down on this, like, massage table or whatever. And I had the hole for, like, your face. And when I put my face through it, I looked down and it was a bunch of stones, kind of like these, uh, that was just sitting there for you to look at or whatever. And I remember that. I was really young whenever that happened, but I remember that happening. And, um, the woman that I went to apparently told my mother that it was like, my chakras were not lined up right or something. But according to, uh, my grandma and her, after I left that place, you know, I wasn't as bad. So I don't know. I don't know. I feel like the divine, um, once I came here, I was pissed and I didn't want to be here. <laughs> so I cried a lot. That's what I think. And I was not a pretty child. But okay. <laughs> Other than me, uh, I have been getting into the whole crystal thing lately, which I know is like basic bitch, you know, pumpkin spice and all this other like, you know, basic bitch stuff. Um, I'm not basic bitch. Okay. I just think it's awesome. Uh, because, you know, there's meanings behind them. You can set your little intention. They're just nice to have. It's a nice 
you know, it helps you manifest. I believe it helps you manifest. I do. I believe if you set an attention on anything um, through manifestation, it can help. I do. But okay, I just wanted to get into somebody's reading. Because like I said, I am so drawn to this deck. It's insane. Um, they're just regular, like, playing card decks. But they have the crystal names, like, on them, or the stones. And um, it's got what it means on the bottom. And, okay, for a warning, I am not going to know how to pronounce um, probably nary a one of these stones, okay? <laughs> Maybe a few, but there's very there's very few that I'm going to be able to pronounce. So, I'm going to just show it to the camera, uh, and you and me can both try to pronounce it as best we can, okay? Or I can try, and you can call me a dumbass on the other side of the screen, okay? It's up to you. But, um, okay. Uh, Father God, I ask that you come into the three that you help me to pick up on who I'm meant to pick up on, that their energy coincides with mine and not be coming to agreement on whatever the best uh, method of action is to do next in Jesus' name. Um, okay, you've got seven, amber, luck, courage, and self-confidence. So uh, seven represents like luck, okay? You're, it's a lucky time for you, whoever you are. Um, yeah, luck, courage, and self-confidence. So you're very confident in yourself right now. Uh, you're very confident in your manifestation abilities. Um, you're very lucky right now. So if I was you, I'd go play lottery or something. Just saying, if I was you. Uh, because you've got... Um, it's hearts, but I'm picking up Sagittarius energy, okay? So to me, it's like... Even though it is like a cups, to me, this feels like Sag energy. Um, Sagittarius energy is Jupiter. That means good luck. That means that you can... Right now is a good time, okay, for you. Tiger Eye, Building Courage and Attracting Wealth, number five. So there is a change coming into your life that does involve money, okay? It does involve wealth. Um, sometimes I would say that this involves just like um, emotional abundance or just like spiritual abundance. But no, this is about wealth, okay? Whoever you are, you, you're you about to hit the jackpot or um, you can play the lotto. I play the lotto if I was you. Uh, appetite, appetite. I don't know how to pronounce this. You may know. Uh, okay, it says inspiration, satisfaction, and motivation. Okay, it's number two. So you're balancing right now. Um, inspiration. Something is inspiring you. Um, you're motivated because of whatever this is. Okay. Um, whatever it is, it helps you balance out. It makes you feel balanced. Um... I don't know. It could be a pastime. It could be a hobby. It could be something that you just do um, because you enjoy it. Okay, you got... Oh, my God. I cannot with this. Mm -hmm. If you can't notice, me and this card's energy is not coinciding. It's not aligning right now, okay? Uh, Lepidolite. <laughs> I have no idea how to pronounce this. But whatever it is, it means peace, tranquility, and restful sleep. It's number eight, okay? So you're bringing in abundance. Uh, even while you sleep, okay? Your energy is so strong right now that even while you're sleeping, you're bringing in abundance, okay? It's protected. Uh, whatever uh, wealth is coming into you is protected. I'm telling you, you're very lucky right now, whoever you are. This is a time in your life when you are very, very lucky. So, like I said, I would um, maybe hit a casino, go to a gas station, get a lottie. Lottie. <laughs> get a lottie, bitch. Get a lottery uh, card ticket thing. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. Okay. Um, Amazonite. Amazonite. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, but it's number four. Okay. So you're balanced right now. Like I said earlier, you're coming into balance. Um, fluidity. Fluidity, I guess. Uh, playful and optimistic. So that is what is attracting your uh, good luck is because you are so adaptable right now. And because whatever energy you're in right now, this optimistic energy, it is drawing uh, things to you. So this is a very good time money-wise for you. Uh, I'm telling you, it is. Um, abalone, abalone, I don't know. Calming, soothing, and healing. This is a number three card of hearts, okay? <clears throat> so you're coming into um, healing. You're healing yourself. You're doing things to soothe yourself. Um, this is what's bringing in this confidence is that you feel good about yourself. You might be going out and getting a new haircut or, you know, even if it's bas basic, even if it's basic things like shaving your legs or shaving your armpits, you feel good right now, okay? Even if it's spraying some cologne on, 
you feel good right now about yourself. So this is what's helping bring in this abundance, okay? Because you are in a very fluid state right now. You're very adaptable right now. So the universe can work with you very well in this present moment, okay? Uh, whatever good fortune is coming into you, it is protected, okay? It's like a gamble for your fortune. Like, you're protected in this pursuit, okay? You're protected in this pursuit. Seven and three, one on top of the other, that represents ten. So there will be finality to this in some sort of way, okay? And um, you will have a finality when it comes to your emotional state as well. If your emotions have been topsy-turvy or up and down, you're going to have balance in regards to that because you're going to learn how to adapt to certain emotional situations surrounding you, possibly, or things that just spark your emotions, okay? Uh, you got um, adventuring, adventuring, I don't know, uh, good like manifestation and optimistic. That is under your tiger's eye, okay? So, your manifestation, you're building the courage to manifest what it is that you want in your life, okay? All of these obstacles that you've been overcoming has been manifesting things into your life, okay? And it has been very protected. All of it has been protected. Your manifestations are being protected as we speak, okay? Your dreams are protected as well. Your dreams are going to reveal certain things to you, so uh, keep track of your dreams, um, even if that means writing them down in a journal or something, just keep track of your dreams right now. Uh, Moonstone, yeah, and this is an ace. Intuition, dreams, energy, passion, dreams. Again, under, this one says rest will sleep, and this one says dreams. So, like I said, your dreams are very important right now. They're going to bring you into a lot of self-awareness. Um, something to do with your subconscious is going to reveal itself in your dreams. This may not resonate at first, but later on you're going to look back and you're going to be like, yeah, this actually did. Um, after these dreams take place, whatever this is, your intuition is going to kickstart you into your independence. It's going to kick you into gear, okay, when it comes to manifesting what it is that you want in your life. But you're very adaptable at the same time, so you are uh, going with the flow, which, like I said, is bringing in your abundance. The more... Um, the more you can adapt to the universe, the more the universe can work with you, okay? Uh, Peridot. This is my daughter's birthstone, so I know this one. Um, ever since... ever, I don't know how to pronounce that. God dang. Uh, I don't know. Joy and happiness. Okay, okay. Um, under playful and optimistic is joy and happiness. So you're going to be very happy, whoever you are. Your um, adaptability... Is causing you to be noticed. Okay, people are noticing you. Peridot is August. August can represent Leo. Leo's attention. Okay, a lot of attention are put on Leos. <laughs> so, like I said, you're getting a lot of attention. Uh, you're coming into your own right now. You're being very independent. Um, yeah. And that is the truth about the situation. Uh, selenite, maybe. I don't know. Is that the same? That might be the same. Could be. It is. Looks like it. All right. Cleansing yourself and your space. So whoever you are, maybe go get some sage, like I've been doing, or something to burn. Okay. Uh, burn something. I think you burn that. I'm not really sure. Okay, I'm new to this. I don't know what I'm doing when it comes to all the spiritual things. Okay. I I knew about tarot and stuff, but I was never. I never really got into. More than incense when it came to spirituality like that. So it is new for me when it comes to like crystals and stuff. But um, yeah. Uh, like I was saying. Your happiness is going to come the most when you are adaptable. Uh, your luck, your courage, and your self-confidence are going to come at a time when you are the most calm and soothed. Okay. <clears throat> If your thoughts are anxious and chaotic, you're going to be anxious and chaotic. So, um, just focus on being soothed and peaceful. And that's going to be when your luck comes in the most, okay? Because if you're calm and peaceful, people around you are going to be calm and peaceful. And everything's going to be, um, what's the word I've been saying? Adaptable. So, people are going to compromise more with you. Uh, if you're in this energy. Okay, you got Tiger Eye, like I said, building courage and attracting wealth. Good luck manifestation and optimistic. So, you're... 
optimistic nature is going to be what brings in your wealth the most, okay? Whatever you're doing to bring in money, that helps. But your attitude is going to help you bring in money more than anything. People liking you is going to bring in more money, okay? So you need to be in a state where people can, you know, where they like to be around you, okay? Um, peace, tranquility, and restful sleep. And then intuition, dreams, energy, and passion. I'm telling you, your dreams are important. Write your dreams down. Or just try to remember them. Because your dreams are going to give you a lot of insight, okay? As to something in your life, okay? Um, fluidity, playful and optimistic. Ever since, ever, uh, whatever that word says, okay? Joy and happiness, okay? You're going to be happy, like I said, when you are fluid, when you are playful, when you are a fun person to be around, is when you're going to bring the most, um luck into your life okay have fun be fun don't be so rigid okay cleanse yourself in your space you need to cleanse yourself you need to cleanse your space so you can cleanse yourself okay six is about balancing yourself out so there's something really important about cleansing your space as well okay your dream state and cleansing your space is important okay a gate a g i don't know okay it's two stability grounding and supportive so um whoever you are you are going to attract love in your life, okay? You're going to attract people that support you. You're going to attract your soul tribe or just people that are good for you, okay? People that support you and want the best for you. You're going to start attracting people like that in, okay? Diamond, purity, truth, and perfection. Like I said, there's going to be some kind of money, 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 okay? You've got some kind of abundance when it comes to money. Um, this is not going to be for everyone, but whoever it is, go play the lotto or, I don't know, just be on the lookout because you're about to get some good luck when it comes to money. Even if it's just like a couple grand, you're going to get some good luck when it comes to money. Okay? You may get back more on your taxes than you thought you would or something. I don't know. Something. But yeah, just cleanse your energy right now. Your abundance is protected. Everything in your life is protected. Whatever adventurous uh, thing... That you're wanting to go towards, it's protected. Uh, you may want to go out in nature more often. I'm getting like woods. I'm getting like hiking trails or something. You may want to go out just this summer and go have fun. Go places. Um, go places where it can soothe you, okay? You need to go wherever you are soothed. Oh, okay. Alright. Um, titanium aura, I guess. And then, appetite, I don't know, appetite, I don't, I don't know, okay. All right, whatever it is, it says, balance, energizing, and refreshing, inspiration, satisfaction, and motivation. So, yeah, like I was saying, whatever little adventures you want to go on, maybe a vacation or something, maybe it's a well-earned vacation, uh, whatever it is, it's going to uh, energize you, it's going to refresh you, it's going to make you feel better, Okay. So you are in desperate need of this vacation, whoever you are. Um, you could get some kind of inspiration from the scenery of wherever you're going. Uh, you're going to be satisfied. Satisfied. You're going to be satisfied uh, on this trip. You're going to have a good time. Okay. And when you get back, you're going to be motivated to pick up where you left off or to do something that you weren't maybe necessarily ready to do before you left. Um pie right i don't know okay well success and protection so you're building okay you're building this um wealth and success this is five so this is change um six and five that's 11 so the angels could be telling you to pay attention right now i also got an angels number book which has been awesome i've been reading out of it a lot but um yeah whoever you are you are building on this dream of yours okay whatever this may be you've got some kind of dream um, when it comes to money and you're building on it, your luck is very high right now. So, um, you could either be coming into inheritance right now or you could be winning the lotto or you could be just coming into some kind of money. Somebody giving you money, um, something about money, okay? Um, anti-gorite, anti, I don't know. Flow, intuition, and bloom. So, yeah, you're, you're, you are blooming this okay this is blooming this is um your harvest is coming in whoever you are 
your your mind is helping this uh, manifest. So keep track of what you're thinking, okay? Positive thoughts. Okay, you need positive thoughts. Because that's what's going to help your intuition flow. That's going to help you know when to do what, okay, in order to get this. All right. Okay, I think we're going to do one little room card. Um, and then we'll look up what it means. Um, I did one for myself the other day. And it was pretty spot on. Okay, so maybe it will be for you as well. Okay, so Michael, give me the right card for the whole little room thing I've got going. Okay. You got... Uh, they tell you how to, or they write out how to pronounce it in here. But it's uh, the one from Michael Myers, okay? If you've ever seen Michael Myers, you know this is on his arm, okay? This is about protection. So whoever you are, you're protected. I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce it. Um, okay. Thorizov. 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 I don't know. Thorazos, maybe. I don't know. Google it. Let me read what it says. Okay. Themes. Uh, the translation for it is the thorn. Okay. Protection, warning, boundaries, and disruption. Okay. Symbolized by a thorn, the spiky nature of Thorazos is a reminder of the importance of protection. You may be facing a challenging situation where you need to armor up and have strong personal boundaries. Take the necessary precautions to make sure no one is taking advantage of you. Be mindful of areas where you're vulnerable or taking unnecessary risks, okay? <clears throat> it's basically saying to be alert of any disruptions, okay? Um, you may be feeling defensive or under attack about a certain situation. Um, while it is important to have your thorns at the ready for protection, try to recognize when they become a block to connecting with your fellow humans. So you may be uh, the type of person that's like not very trusting, okay? And maybe that's something within yourself that you need to um, heal, okay? You might need to, I don't know, work on your trusting with other people, maybe. Okay, we're going to do one of the focus on the good, and then I'm going to close out the reading. Um, these are just positive affirmation cards that I got the other day. And I, I thought they were very cute for like, I don't even know how much it was, $5? Something like that. I thought they were worth it. Okay, what is the positive affirmation to close out this read, Archangel Michael? Okay. That was not it. We're going to do it again. Whoever you are, there's a hesitancy hesitancy uh, to be happy. So you need to stop being so mistrustful of others. And you need to, uh, like I said, work in your fluid nature. Because you can do it. You are fluid. You can be adaptable. Okay? And you are a lovable person. People love you. So, there's no need to mistrust everyone you come into contact with, okay? Okay. I am becoming the best version of myself, okay? You are. You are literally becoming the best version of yourself. And that has been what this read has been talking about, okay? After this little vacation you go on, you're really going to feel a lot better. I am enough. You need to remind yourself that you are enough. You are enough. I am powerful and fearless, so you can overcome whatever obstacles are making you hesitant to become the best version of yourself, okay? Uh, we grow beautifully in our own way, okay? I am enough, and we, go, we grow beautifully in our own way. You are unique, okay? There is no one else like you. You are needed because of this, okay? You are loved because of this. Do not ever um, try to fit in because you are not meant to fit in. You are meant to be yourself, Okay, the best version of yourself. And that's who you're becoming as we speak, okay? Flowers bloom when I smile. So, whoever you are, people like it when you're happy. So try to be happy, okay? Do it as a self-sacrifice, a self-service to others. Just try to be happy for others, even when it's difficult, okay? It's not easy, okay? It's not easy to be the shoulder that people lean on. But sometimes we have to be. Sometimes we're called to be the strong person in everyone's life, okay? I am loved. You are loved. People love you. So, don't forget that. And don't forget what um, you bring to relationships in your life. You bring a lot. And people do love you. So, okay. I just wanted to get this read out. Um, I'm probably going to come on later and do another one. I can't promise tonight because I know I've been saying a lot that I'm going to come back on and I don't. But I am trying. Um, I just wanted to get this read out for somebody because I know somebody um, resonates with this. Okay? 
But I love you very much. I send positive vibes your way. Um, and just thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching me. Okay. And I hope that I'm helping you. I really do. But I love you very much. Okay. I'll be back on later. Mwah.